I just want to see a movie star. There oh, he is. Oh, that guy! He was in that movie. Yeah, Carnosaur. Uh, the first half of this stream tonight, we're playing through Jurassic Park. Uh, this game's great. Both Alex and I had it as kids, and we both uh, played a ton of it, so I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to returning to it tonight. So this game has a completely different premise, gameplay, and storyline compared to every other Jurassic Park game. Uh, in this one, you play, I think you could be considered a bad guy. You're being sent to the island after uh, the whole the whole mess that happened. A couple of dinos got loose, you know, you saw that documentary about it called Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, that was really good. So anyway, in the aftermath of that, we, a scientist, are being sent to this island to collect all the dino eggs. Oh good! We gotta keep wait, them wait, safe. Wait, 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 no! Hold yeah, on. We want to breed these things, you know, because I don't know if that's a good idea. That's okay. What could go wrong? Nothing has ever gone wrong with these dinosaurs, except for that, you know, that that whole thing. Uh, we have we have better manners oh, to to attend to. Our lives are in danger because our helicopter crashed. Oh shit! We couldn't even make it to Jurassic Park, so we gotta hoof it. First, we gotta pick up our piece. Uh, this thing sucks. You're gonna want a better weapon. Do not try and fight dinosaurs with this thing. Please don't. Oh god, I love this game. All the memories. Yes. All the terrifying memories. <laughs> this game scared the crap out of you as a kid, too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is completely terrifying. Yeah. Also, the audio balance is way out of whack, so expect... I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Let's talk to our friend. Oh yeah, our buddy! Now the thing about this game is that it has these little informational kiosks about these dinosaurs before you enter their, uh, their homes. Compi is one of the old time smallest dinosaurs, about the size of a coyote, 10 pounds. Fossil footprints show that Compies traveled in big packs up to a dozen or more. Compies were as fast as coyotes, maybe 30 miles an hour. Alex, what's a coyote? Sinuous bodies, they love to move in underbrush. He keeps saying that word. Compies had sharp claws, long toes. They could climb trees <laughs> real well. What? I love Dino Cowboy too. Yes. <laughs> Look, he got a PhD in Dino dinosaurs. Dinosaurs usually nest in groups. So did compies, and they would defend their nests in groups too. So sometimes he'll give you helpful tips on how to fight these things, mm -hmm. but these are compies. You can just step on them. The guy tells us that these dinosaurs are ready for some football. <laughs> That one dinosaur staring right at us. Oh, there we go. I always like the audio in the interstitials here. Mm hmm Yeah, if you can hear this. This uses the uh, Genesis sound chip between FMVs. Mm -hmm. I think it's a pretty good effect. There's a lot of different intermission music that plays throughout the game. And most often you hear this, uh, this kind of ambient background noise. Uh, a lot of it is obviously stock sound effects, and that's pretty hilarious. But for a lot of it... <laughs> Uh, the dino roars especially, they had to go out into, like, the Louisiana river bottoms and stir up some alligators. <laughs> like, Just the Sega CD programmers mm -hmm. stirring up gators. The whole team going out there in the swamps, uh, All right. stirring up some gators. Stirring up some FMV fun for the Sega CD! The, the story that's online from one of the designers said that they actually had to, like, goad the alligators because they weren't getting good enough results, so they had to, like, go up and poke them with sticks and stuff. And eventually they got attacked and ran away. <laughs> and uh, what they recorded, they later pitch shifted down so that you would have a T-Rex roar, I guess. So when you hear the T-Rex roar, that's the sound of an alligator getting poked with a stick by a Sega programmer. So right off the bat, we're entering a very, very dangerous area. Uh, if you were here during the pre-show, you saw me dying to one of these things. Uh, you fight two different kinds of dinosaurs in this game. The human-sized ones, the Dilophosauruses, Gallimimuses, they can take off some damage, seen up here. If you anger one of these big dinosaurs, you're dead. You they will kill you instantly. Dead. You, yeah, do not, do not screw with them. Knowing that, uh, this part is terrifying. I'm pretty sure this part traumatized both Alex and I. Oh what's, God! What's happening here is there's oh, I hate this a sick dino here, Goodbye. and her mate is over here and uh she she's not she's not too happy 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna honk at her. That had a pretty good result. Let's try it again. Ah! And we gotta do it a third time. No more. No more than three, trust us. That gave us an injector that we can use on her friend. And now everyone's happy. We're not gonna die today. No. At any point, if you delay or honk any more than is necessary, that dinosaur is going to charge you, and it you will be dead. It is actually pretty terrifying. Yeah. So we were, we were fortunate to get past that part with no troubles. So inside there was a CD and also a crowbar, which we can use in the next scene here. I'm already getting keyed up over this game. There's just instant <laughs> death around every corner. It is. It really is. Uh... Here's another uh, less deadly puzzle. There's a baby guarding this box, and we want that box. But we don't want their parents to murder us. Yeah, uh, we could shoot it. That's a bad idea. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, instead, let's feed it. So as you can tell by now, this is a combination point-and-click adventure game and first-person shooter, though we haven't done any shooting just yet. Uh, every single one of these scenes takes place as a 360-degree panorama, and there's a persistent logic to, like, uh, the cardinal directions where you go and stuff. It's... I can't think of any other game that's quite like this, especially on consoles. The whole blending, like, uh, point-and-click adventure with first-person shooting. It's genuinely very unique. I can only think of, like, Realms of the Haunting, and even that's not exactly like this. But yeah, it's super ambitious, especially for, you know, an add-on for the Sega Genesis. They just made a completely original game for the thing, and they mostly succeeded. Mostly. M mostly. Oh no, we don't want to go back here. People are comparing it to Snatcher. It is a little bit, bit Snatcher-like, yeah. Uh, Sega CD had a few of these, as it turns out, and we'll be playing a second one later tonight. It also had a few that hopefully we'll never play, like The Adventures of Willy Beamish. Oh god. Please. Another game Alex and I grew up with, and uh, yeah. That Less one sucks. fond memories, just all oh, those slow times. Oof. You guys want to see a movie star? There oh, he is. that guy! He was in that movie. Yeah, Carnosaur! It's <laughs> exactly the movie I was thinking of. Ah, damn it. Oh, I can't make the joke because I don't know the, the name of the movie. Uh, the, the future Whoopi Goldberg movie where she's friends with a dinosaur. <laughs> Exactly what you mean. This is killing I'm blanking me. Theodore on it. Rex. Theodore Rex. That's it. Are you gonna get Theodore the quick Rex ending is here? not in this game. What's that? Are you gonna get the quick ending here? Uh, Don't. maybe we should. <laughs> Let's get some pliers. Okay. Theodore Rex. Yes, yes. So this area here acts as our hub area. What it wants you to do is to travel out to all these different uh, dinosaur pins and collect their eggs and then bring them back here. I always love the music in this part. I do too. This is just simple Genesis chip music, but they did a really good job with it. It's obvious you, you click on that, right? Yeah, obviously. There's kind of a lot of... This fucking music is so good. <laughs> yeah, I love it. There's a lot of just kind of sweeping your cursor around the screen, seeing what you can click on. Here we got a radar. Heated keep... debate over Willie Beamish. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Worst thing about that version on Sega CD is the damn load times. Yeah, no Best doubt. thing is the uh, intro song. Mm-hmm. God, the load times just killed that game. Luckily, Dynamics' other port, uh, Rise of the Dragon, was much better. So here we get a better gun. And... CD. What's on the CD? Music! Spin Doctor's Greatest Hits! Oh! <laughs> I forget what's on this monitor. Oh, this just tells you where on the island everything is. 
You don't need that if you're an expert at this game, like Alex and I. <laughs> we are total experts. I am setting myself up for a fall. I like the little baby pens. Are those? Toys? Yeah. Do they keep baby dinosaurs in here? I. This is sort of like it a looks veterinary. Like crates area. too, like for like crate training dogs. Are they crate training like you know the little Gallimimuses or Maybe something? Maybe they were adopting them out. Maybe. Aww. Like a little Dino Petco. Wait, no, no, <laughs> that's bad. And for the time, this 3D rendering's pretty good as far as an environment goes. It's about as detailed as it needs to be. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, it's 64 color. Sorry, I don't have anything intelligent to say other than ooh, good Yeah, game. for me and Alex, this is like a yeah, is nostalgia wonderful. overload. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is the gas gun. Uh, you only get two cartridges for it. That though. looked like that one Super Nintendo, uh, whatchamacallit. The Super Scope. Yeah, yeah it did kind of look like that. Oh man, cool uh, cyberpunk goggles. Mm hmm. Could be cyberpunks. Here you can recharge one of your weapons, I think the stunner. Hey Danny, was this game 93 or 94? This was 93. 93. Uh, European release at 94. Mm. There's a tiger in here. This isn't a what zoo. Get that shit out of here. What? Technically, it is a zoo. Uh, well, it's we're disrupting zoos. <laughs> <laughs> we Jurassic Park was the first venture capital tech deal. Jurassic Park is the uh, the end game of late stage capitalism. Jurassic Park is the Uber of zoos. Okay, <laughs> bringing the dinos to you out of those boring history books and into your backyard. <laughs> So it wants a Triceratops CD. Uh, we have that. But that does... The Soylent of Zeus. <laughs> it plays a code for us. Okay. Alex, type down somewhere 5798. Okay. We'll need that later. And it is randomly generated. It's different for every game you play. Um, there's a secret here that I never knew about, actually. Do we have the pliers? Yes, we do. Check this out. Wait. Wait for it. Or is this the right, wrong area? Am I just looking like a jackass right now? Maybe. I think I am. Uh, I actually found one of the designers' website, uh, last night, and it revealed a whole bunch of weird stuff about this game I've never, ever known about. Supposedly, there's a secret answering machine message, either in this room or one of the other ones. Mm. There's also, like, hidden animations, a debug mode. I, I had no idea it was still in the retail game. There is one Easter egg I'm going to show off in just a little bit. <laughs> Alex already knows what it is. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's my favorite Easter egg in any game, because it's the <laughs> stupidest just, thing. It's, it's, really it's just stupid. a good thing to see if you ever just get frustrated with the game and you say, fuck it. <laughs> No, we're done. We're done. We're done. There's a finality to it that yeah. I really enjoy. Oh, right. I didn't show this. Um, oh, we can't go in here just now. Or can we? Yes, we can. This is oh, the God, incubator. It's a oh, it's an incubator. Yeah. It was a bomb. I'm sorry. The Velociraptors built a bomb. <laughs> okay, I was going to look for a phone to call for help. No, it is. this is not going to be like hot coffee. That is not the secret we will find, I oh, promise there it is. you. Uh, if you could hear that, that was the sound of computer programmer Dennis Nedry being eaten during the movie. Jesus Christ! That was in there as an Easter egg that I never knew about until just now. <laughs> Fun time! I'm amazed that actually worked. I thought he was oh just joking God. about that. That is oh my god! Just a oh fun little Jesus Easter egg, Christ. you know? There's a couple more, we'll see. Uh, including the big one. Let's go ahead and go to the control room. Hmm. Remind me to save my game. Please save your game. I don't know what it is about this game. It just... It, it has atmosphere, you know? It's mm -hmm. the the whole ambient audio, and then only occasionally it has background music. I kind of like that. I think it's only indoors, in certain indoor areas, it plays the music. So here is our... First area, and we have some video phone messages from our friend. I love my friend. Hi, I'm Emily Shimura. 
I'll be your contact on this mission, so keep an eye on your message light. It means I have new information for you. We were worried when our telemetry showed that your helicopter crashed. But as long as you're not hurt, keep going. We're pulling you out as soon as you've got at least one egg from each dinosaur species in the incubator. I'll check on you again in a couple of hours. Oh, and uh, by the way, good luck. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> when Dr. Sattler was on the island, she helped Dr. Harding, the veterinarian, with a sick triceratops. He worked out a treatment for the illness and carried injectors in his jeep. Dr. Harding also told her not to honk the jeep horn at the triceratops. That that it drives them nuts! <laughs> so she thinks it's a funny joke, but we barely not, escaped with our lives. Not, no. I don't know what to think about your, your attitude, your professional attitude here, Emily. <laughs> Make sure you move the eggs quickly to the incubator. The longer an egg is away from its nest, the colder it gets. If it gets too cold, the baby dinosaur can die. The incubator keeps the baby alive until you're ready to leave. Got it? What do you think she was eating? Baby dinosaur. <laughs> Let's save our game. <laughs> Speaking of baby dinosaur, if you'll excuse me. It's the veal of the future. I was gonna say it's distaste. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 Danny, hold on. Hold I've had on. enough of this thing. I'm not gonna find no baby dinosaur. I, no, we're done. No, don't, don't, don't. We're Is that a rock? Done. Uh. Danny? Yeah, had it with this place. Danny, what did you... Did you throw a rock? I'm the... destructing the place, Alex. That's what I'm doing. I'm destructing it. No, This Danny. place is getting destructed. Danny, I don't... Danny, get this was the apparently... fuck out of here. Danny, what the fuck? No! They, when they made this video, this was apparently going to be part of the game's storyline, but it was cut out, and then they included it as an Easter egg. Why we rigged those explosive those skeletons with explosives, but See it's like a waste. It was a pretty good idea in the end. <laughs> and that's game over.